Next month, a fun run is bringing together families, especially ones created through adoption. We're all still getting situated here, but it's cool. It's live TV. You can come out to camera. We like to keep it real around here. <laughs> we have little kids here today, which is a joy, especially because we are talking about an event coming up that celebrates adoption, families made through all sorts of ways. It raises awareness about all facets of this. Foster care adoption, we're also celebrating Grandparents Day. So with me today are special friends of mine, Diana Lang, who's the executive director and founder of Iowans for Adoption, and Bill Pierce, former board member, now honorary board member. Thank you all for being here. Yes. Happy to be here. Yes. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the event that's coming up because for many years, um, we had an event in November celebrating Adoption mm -hmm. Month. We've moved things around a little yes. bit. So talk to us about what's coming up in September. Yes, well, we're having a move for adoption now mm -hmm. because it's warmer weather. <laughs> it's, <laughs> that's the honest, yeah, truth is that we decided it that- It was awful cold yes, some it was. years. <laughs> yes, yes, it was the gingerbread run. So we're not doing that anymore. We're, we've honest changed it all gosh. to the move for adoption. And it will be September 8th, Grandparents Day, and we're, we have our lovely We have Bill's grandkids here today. Great grandchildren. Oh, great grandchildren. Well, and grandchild. Yeah, grandchild and great grandchildren. Yes. So let's just talk about um, celebrating Grandparents Day sort of in conjunction mm -hmm. with all of this. To some people that might seem a little bit odd, but mm -hmm. why? Yeah. Well, because it's a family-related event, we want all generations of people um, to be involved. Everybody is welcome to come, and I know their family is a big supporter of adoption, so they'll all yeah. be out here as oh, we are <laughs> supporters of adoption too. Well, and that's it's what just I said. wonderful to be your grandparents. Yeah. Yes. Have have this opportunity to be with these kids. Well, and Bill, um, adoption is personal for you. Just explain to people the many reasons why. Well, the one of the reasons why was because. My I, I was adopted myself, mm -hmm. and uh, I got in, interested in adoption when I was doing juvenile court work and uh, stayed with it as a sideline. And then after I retired, so-called, so from there, I started an agency, and, and we've been going with that ever since. That's how you and I first crossed paths yes. because your agency did our home study. Um, this is so personal for so many people and you know yes. we've done a lot of stories about the adoption triad. Mm -hmm. um, just explain that to mm -hmm. people and also maybe how it's changed over the years. Oh yeah, yeah that's a great <laughs> Great. I know, we can Question. talk about yes. that all day. <laughs> exactly. So the adoption triad is basically one of the reasons that we started or that I started the organization is because so many times people leave out birth moms, um, families who are adopting, families who are waiting to adopt, and then the adopted person. You know, a lot of organizations maybe only focus on one aspect. Um, my birth mom passed before she could ever, you know, get rid of her guilt, um, which, you know, for me, I feel like that's one of the major pleas is that people should realize that what they're doing is a selfless act and doing what's in the best interest for their children. And so that's another major uh, component of the nonprofit. Uh, explain to people what the nonprofit does. Uh -huh. Yep, well, the nonprofit does all sorts of things, all by volunteers still. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been around for 13 years. We provide free educational programming. We provide free um, flyers uh, that promote adoption as a positive parenting option. We have the run, we have a gala. We're, one of the really cool things is that we have actually matched people, even though we're not a matching agency, then they get on to bill, but um, we've matched families, kids and families from foster care and from birth moms that were pregnant that didn't know what to do. So, I mean, that's just like the most rewarding part. And I think what we're seeing now, we have a little bit of video up on the screen and I think oh, it's yes. Adoption Saturday, yes. which is always yes. so wonderful where we get to see so many adoptions mm -hmm. become official. Um, what would you say to people about getting involved in this in any way, shape, or form, whether it's being a foster parent or mm -hmm. looking into adopting or just supporting the organization. Right, yeah. Um, we definitely always need volunteers. We always need people out there sharing 
what it is that we're doing because it's so very important and it's a message that isn't um, typically, you know, talking about the triad. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, what was the other part of the question? All of a sudden, I'm oh, like, just, I know, we're a little distracted. <laughs> it's all I mean, good. This is how it is with kids, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> it is. I love, I'm loving every minute I of know, it. I know, me too. Okay, uh, how about this? Let's give people the website so oh, people yeah. can go to the yep. website and get yep. more information, get more information about the run and how to get involved. Exactly. Yes, thank you. So it's <laughs> iowansforadoption.org. Pretty easy. Yep. We do all sorts of things and we provide so many things for families uh, for free. So. Yep. Okay, thank you all for being here. It's very close to my heart, obviously. Thanks for all the work that you continue to do. Yes.